Hey everyone, Midas here. A while back, I made a video in which I talked about the entire timeline of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. But here's one thing that's confusing about it. The whole Diary of a Wimpy Kid timeline takes place over the span of five years, with the diaper overload leading into the sixth year. And now, the age-old question, how is Greg still in middle school? And now in this video, I'm going to talk about multiple popular theories as for why Greg is in middle school, including one of my own. So if you enjoyed this video, go check out some of my other content, and if you really enjoyed this video, subscribe. And right, let's get into this. But first, I'm going to say the actual explanation. Greg Heffley is a cartoon character, meaning that no matter what, the setting of the story is always going to be the same. That is 100% the actual reason Greg is still in middle school. But that's not interesting, so instead we're going to be making up theories instead. And so theory number one is Greg constantly fails middle school. This theory states that since the eighth book, Greg has constantly been failing middle school, and that's why he's still in middle school. It is shown in Hard Luck that Greg's grades are really bad. So you know, it's not impossible, but still this is definitely not one of my favorite theories because it also means that Rowley failed middle school, which I highly doubt. And now the next theory, Greg is dead. This theory states that in the ninth book, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul, Greg Heffley and his family are killed by the Beardos. There's a video which goes into a lot more detail about this theory. I'll leave it down in the description and you should go check that out after this video. One of the main things they use to support that theory is that the next five books go through the five stages of grief, with old school being denial, double down being anger, the getaway being bargaining, the meltdown being depression, and wrecking ball being acceptance. And you know, it's a pretty interesting theory because the five books after the long haul do fit really well with the five stages of grief. And now the next theory, alternate realities. Now this theory states that the Diary of Wimpy series works as a multiverse, where the series branches off at the fourth book into two different timelines. In timeline one, you have the first eight books. In timeline two, you have the first four books, but then book four is followed by book nine, and then we go through the rest of the modern series. And yeah, it's a pretty simple explanation. The only problem that's obvious now is is that more time has passed, meaning Greg would be out of the 8th grade again, meaning you'd either have to make it so that the long haul takes place after the first book, which would cause complications because in later books, Sweetie is mentioned as still existing, or you'd have to branch off the timeline again, and by that point it gets really complicated. Also, another thing I realized while recording this is that you could also combine the Greg is dead theory along with this theory by having Greg die in long haul, the next 5 books deal with that, and the 15th book being in all alternate version of that summer where the long haul didn't happen. So yeah, that's just something I found interesting. So now, let's head on to the final theory of the video. Only the first book is real. Now, I'm not going to say that I invented this theory, because considering how big the internet is, there's probably somebody who said this before. But I haven't seen anybody say this before, so to me, it seems like I made it. Basically, this theory is that only the first Diary of a Wimpy Kid book is based off of actual events in Greg's life. What I mean by this is that the first book was written when Greg was in middle school and it just talks about his day-to-day -day life but then when greg became an adult he released his diary and it became a super popular book and because of that greg wanted to make more books so he started to create a diary a book series even though he'd only made one diary and that means that only the events of the first book actually happened with greg possibly taking some other inspirations from his time as a middle schooler in the other books this would not only explain the timeline, but it would also explain why the time span of the books gets shorter and shorter because he realizes that the series needs to go on for longer, and he can't do that if one book goes through one year. Also, he publishes the books under the name of Jeff Kinney so that people won't know the books are about him. And yeah, that's my Diary of Kid theory. So yeah, those are all the theories I wanted to talk about in this video. Now, if you have any cool and interesting theories of your own, comment them down below, and we can talk about them. And yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. And if you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other content. And if you really enjoyed this video, subscribe. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Happy New Year's, and I'll see you guys in the next one.